I, I wanted to make a film about the, the, uh, that kind of shows both uh, how, how intelligence works, how, how human intelligence, what's called, how uh, people run informants, how somebody becomes an informant, how, you know, to, to do something about that world, but in the context of the Israel-Palestinian conflict, in the context of, you know, to show also, by, and by showing that, show also what's going on in the West Bank, what's going on in the Israeli side, to, to take this as a center, but kind of open up and show a street-level view of what's going on, kind of behind the headlines that you see in the news. That was the initial thought, the initial impulse. And then I went and met with Ali uh, Waked, who is a known journalist in Israel to deal with these um, affairs. He was the main correspondent of Palestinian affairs for some um, um, uh, journal in Israel. And we, uh, and we just started working and it was, a, it was very long, you know, it took us a few years of research and writing to kind of get the script that we wanted because we talked to everybody. It's so, such a complex reality and such a complex story that touches so many aspects of, you know, of intelligence work, of army works, of how the Israelis work, how the Palest what's going on in the Palestinian society, what's going on in the Palestinian Authority, paramilitary groups. So everything we kind of researched to death, kind of, and Ali knew a lot, and I brought a lot of things that I knew, and we brought more people in, and so, so it's a script that was very, very, that the process of researching it and the process of writing it were intertwined and they were quite long. Um, I think that's the most, as we researched this, uh, this reality, this, uh, the lives of the people we wanted to portray in the film, we realized how complex it is, the, the, the relationship between a, a handler, what's called a handler is a secret service guy who, who, who runs, who works with an informant, between a handler and an informant. How, you know, that despite the fact that it's obviously an exploitative relationship and a very intense relationship and contradicts many things in the life of the informant, there's something always very human that happens there. And every intelligence officer will tell you that, that, uh, that, uh, that, what, that, that the key to, 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 for, to this work is to create a human and in intimate bond with your informant. And not that you fake it, not that you say as if I trick him to think that. You can trick somebody. You can trick somebody for a, we for a week, not for four years. Or it, uh, this relationship can be very long. So, um, so, so how do you walk that line between this intense exploitative relationship and a very intimate, you know, high, you know and, and, and a relationship that's completely, you know, it's very human. So uh, we found that fascinating. And uh, that became like the heart of the, um, of, the, of the film. We always knew it's going to be about that, but when we studied it more and more, we understood how, how complex and fascinating it is. It's part of the nature of the work, of the, of the world. I mean, of the, of the world that depicted in the film is uneven like that. Like intelligence work is very slow, meticulous, and can be boring, can be gray in the sense of like not exciting, very detail-oriented, and suddenly it will open up to something spectacular like we have this assassination scene. So, so the work itself is very uneven, and we try to, 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 to portray it in the film. The other thing about the film is that we try to walk a balance between having a film that's very detailed and very um, true to what it describes, almost like a documentary that I'll show you how things are, and on the other hand, be a cinematic, tight story uh, that's universal and can work as an action thriller film. And to try to kind of walk and to, to, to balance it between these two. Um, you know, these two, these two styles, you know, and I hope we succeed. But that's really what we constantly, in, in all stages, in writing, in shooting, in editing, we always try to, to, to keep this balance. The, the most important thing for us was to, to, to find a way into each character and to show the world from their point of view and not judge them. And all of them are compromised, all of them are complex, all of them are in the gray zone, all of them do stuff that at some point will make you say, wait a minute, do I, am I really with this guy? I thought I'm with, you know what I mean? All of them, there's a moment like this in the film. But, but the film really 
and, and that's really the, 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 the focus, that's really the, the, what we try to do in the film. It's just to take you to the point of view of these characters that, that are in this very extreme and fascinating situation and avoid any, avoid even them being a symbol or a metaphor for something. Ghazi is not a metaphor for the Israeli and for Israel and Sanfour is not a metaphor for this. And he's this person and it's his story and that's what we try to, um, you know. We didn't know in advance that this is what's going to happen. Sanfour, of course, being 16 and a half, we knew we needed a kid this age. We said, well, we're obviously going to get somebody who's not, uh, not an actor. And we saw hundreds of kids until, and we actually saw him one of the first ones, but we saw many kids until we decided that he's the, he's the, he's the guy. And uh, with Sachi, who's playing Razi, the Israeli Secret Service guy, and with uh, Haitham, who plays Badawi, both of them are through the location, you know, we, we did a lot of location scouting, almost a year before the film started. We traveled a lot, so there suddenly we met Badawi and we said, my God, this guy's amazing. And he, we, I thought, somebody said, look at this guy, I thought he was going to be an extra, some guy, you know, back there when the main guy, and, and we started falling in love with him. We said, this guy is charismatic, he's amazing and whatever, and slowly, and it wasn't... We pushed them to the fore and we said, maybe this is the guy, and also in the Israeli side. Uh, so it's not something we set out to do and we were very worried about it, not just me, just also the producer, that we said, uh, are we doing the right thing? And, you know, because I'm also a first-time director, it became a film that half of the people, not half, but some, you know, the three main actors, me, Ali, the writer, the director, are all first-time uh, filmmakers, and not kids, actually. I, I, I look very young, but I'm not a kid. And the, uh, and the three, uh, Tzachi, Haitham, all these, you know, we are all kind of, it's a second career for us, we're not kids, and so that's one group. And then on the other hand, we had very professional people from the Israel, the best in the Israeli industry, the producers, the director, the DP, the editor, the, all the, 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 the key people who were very experienced, and uh, so the film is kind of a mesh. But uh, the casting was a challenge and uh, was, it was a risk. Um, uh, but we're very happy with it because each one and somehow their lives somehow touches the character they portray. Each one. By the way, Haitham who plays by the way is a Palestinian living in exactly the area described. He was, he went through, you know, he's a journalist also and his job is a, is a cameraman for Al Arabiya and he went to, and he was in all these places and you know he really knows this reality and it touched him and he, Tzachi was an Israeli, he was in, a, in, a, in, a, in the army, he served in the West Bank and he speaks Arabic and he's, he knows this reality from the Israeli side and each one brought something you know they, they know what they're talking